This is the 90-90 hip internal rotation stretch. To set up for this, we're gonna want a 90 degree knee angle on this back leg here. It's not as important to have that 90 degree knee angle on the front leg since we're not working on this front leg. In fact, we want this leg to be out of the equation. So what I like to typically do is take this foot and just move it inwards, or I can allow the knee to rise because the main objective here is to leverage the stretch on the back hip. So in order to do that, we're gonna need this butt cheek to drop toward the ground as we get more upright in the torso. So the torso is gonna to rotate toward the back foot as this butt cheek moves closer to the ground. And I'm gonna to try to get upright, attempting to anteriorly tilt the pelvis here. Now, in order for me to achieve maximum range, this knee is gonna to have to come along for the ride and I'm gonna have a very difficult time doing that unless I have a lot of external rotation on that hip if I keep the knee at 90 degrees here. So just let it come in and notice you can get a little bit more extra range and that butt cheek can move toward the ground a little bit more. Now we should be feeling a really deep stretch in the hip joint. It's a very uh, deep kind of sensation. It's, it's very different than a muscular stretch you're stretching a lot of the ligaments and tendons that insert into the hip, as well as the, the hip capsule itself and the hip rotator muscles. So from here, we can do a few contractions. So the first contraction is gonna be pushing the foot into the ground. So we're pushing into external rotation of the hip. So I'm gonna ramp up for about 10 to 20 seconds, a nice strong contraction there. Inhale, relax. Now try to sink my butt cheek closer to the ground rotate my torso further over. The next contraction will be trying to lift the foot off the ground. So I'm attempting to pick the foot up off the ground. It's not gonna move because I'm at my end range, but essentially we're trying to do this. So we can repeat those, pushing the foot down into the ground, into external rotation, relax, move a little bit deeper. Now actively try to pull yourself deeper in the range by trying to pick this foot up off the ground and repeat that for about two to three cycles. So again, it's gonna look like this. I'm gonna find the stretch position. Now from here, I'm gonna engage the external rotators of the hip and push down into the ground, 10 to 20 seconds. Breathe, relax, move deeper. Now try to actively pull myself deeper, try to pick the foot up off the ground, engaging the internal rotators of the hip. Relax, move deeper, that's one cycle. Repeat that two to three times. Ooh, slowly come out of it and retest your hip internal rotation afterwards. 